So have you been looking for a build that you think shouldn't even be in the game? Well, this is the build for you. Are you looking for a pistol build that's going to one-shot those enemies, allow you to clear content fast, get through content fast so you can level up your shade levels? This is the build for you. And if a lot of you guys are wondering, does this build still work? It works better than ever. And if you're looking for that build that's gonna help you get through open world activities, fast, efficient, and allow you to level up, hey, this is the build for you. As you guys can see, you literally can one tap almost anything in the game. And when I say that, look at this dog, just got one tapped. Now, don't get me wrong, there will be some enemies that will not allow you to one shot them, but that's when you just have to hit them a few times with the Desert Eagle and then just move along. But most of the time, these one shots should just pile up and you'll just be able to clear this fast. And I think a lot of you guys, if you haven't tried this build already, hey, this could be something for a lot of you guys who don't want to run something like the Hot Shot, but you definitely want to run some type of one shot build that can get through the content fast and easy. And here you go. Well, I think it's time for us to break down the build. So if you're ready, leave a thumbs up and drop a comment on if you like the build or if you want to try the build. Let's get into it. So first off guys, we are running the specialization, the technician. The reason why I'm doing this is because it does give me one skill tier towards my skills. And while it doesn't seem like a lot since I am using the Borok shield, it does help out. Now, if you guys would like to go with the gunner class, you guys can, and that's just gonna give you a bigger chunk of armor on kill once you guys see what build I was running, if you guys haven't guessed it already. So what really makes this build work is this pistol right here. So I decided to go with the Desert Eagle, right? So we got the D50 here. We have 7% weapon damage from the expertise. We have 15% pistol damage, 10% headshot damage. And then we have Termin on here. It says, after killing an enemy with the headshot, your next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot and we can continue to proc this over and over now i just have for the optics i put the five percent headshot damage on there yes we are running hunter's fury you guys might say why are you running hunter's fury there's no pistol bonuses here but the way apex predator works this allows for those one shots and what's even better is we will get some armor on kill so the two pieces given a shotgun damage smg damage which we don't need but the three piece actually gives us 20% armor on kill, 100% health damage. And that's why I said, if you guys want to run the gunner class, you can, and then you'll get 30% armor on kill. Now, Apex Predator is why we're able to one shot. Enemies within 15 meters receive a debuff and it amplifies our damage by 20%. Now, when we kill the debuffed enemy with your weapon, it disorients other enemies within five meters and amplifies weapon damage by 5% for 10 seconds. So that means we can stack this up to five times. So that's 25% extra damage on here. So not only do we have the 20% amplified weapon damage um, with Apex Predator once we're within that 15 meters, but we're also gaining an additional 25% once we keep that. So once we hit a control point, you'll notice that we always had to stack up. And that's why we're able to one shot those enemies. We have weapon damage on here, we have headshot damage, and then we have a headshot damage mod. For the chest piece, we went with the chain killer. Now what the chain killer does is it gives us weapon damage and then we have a two piece, so we're getting 5% damage to armor. Now we have weapon damage on here, we have headshot damage, we have weapon handling, and I honestly prefer it instead of crit chance because the Desert Eagle is a little bit harder to control. But once you get that first headshot, you get it going, it's, you just have to hit the body, right? So it's easy just to aim, point, shoot, boom, and it's over. So we have 10% headshot damage mod on here, and we have perfect headhunter. After killing an enemy with the headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blows damage. Damage is capped to 800%, but remember this is raised to 1,250 if we have headshot damage above 150%, which we will. For our second piece of Hunter's Fury, we have the holster, weapon damage, and headshot damage, obviously. For our third piece of Hunter's Fury, we have it on the knee pads with weapon damage, headshot damage. For the gloves, we have weapon damage, headshot damage, Hunter's Fury again, and that's the fourth and final piece. 
And for our backpack, we have our second piece of Walker and Harris that's allowing us to get that 5% damage to armor. We have weapon damage on here. We have headshot damage. We have critical hit damage, which you could probably put critical hit chance or weapon handling, ideally because a D50 is definitely very hard to control. And then we have 10% headshot damage mod. Now we have vigilance, increased total weapon damage by 25%, taking damage disables as a buff. But since we are running the Bulwark Shield, that allows us to hopefully keep this buff up as much as possible and obviously get the Hunter's Fury going at the same time. If you notice, we have the Borwak Shield. So the Borwak Shield is tier one. So it gives us a little bit better shield health, 67% ex exactly. So we're at 4.6 million. And then I pair that up with the decoy. I think the decoy is really good for those builds like sniper builds. Like if you want to throw it out, it definitely helps. You can run whatever you guys want. I've been using the decoy since I've been sniping a lot and I actually like it a lot, especially you throw it to the side, the enemies focus on it, you get that first headshot and then it's pretty much over. So for me, it works pretty good, um, but you can run whatever you guys want. If we go take a look at the stats, we're gonna put the pistol on. You'll notice we have 10% crit chance, 55% crit damage, but what really makes the build shine is the 225% headshot damage with 5% armor damage. So that is really what's fueling this build that is actually just destroying. And I was actually showing one of my friends, we were doing control point, not a control point, just regular convoys and holy, it was doing the same thing. Now, one thing you need to remember is if you get against those tankier enemies that have helmets, right? Like, or, or shield, those guys might not be able to get one shot. So that's where you do need to just remember that you may need to hit them once it's gonna break that helmet and then hit them again and finish them off or just type them a couple times and then continue on. So, but overall, this thing is pretty good. This talent determined, I don't know what's going on with it, but it's been the best thing that's happened since season 11. And I'm glad that it's in the game. Hopefully they don't change it too much if they do change it at all. But yeah, this is the build right here, guys. If you guys have any questions, hey, let me know. Hey, determined, man, start, start farming for those. Um, I recommend if you don't have this talent on either of your sniper rifles or your pistols, head over to Countdown, put pistols on, keep farming till you get it. Same thing with snipers, keep doing it till you get it. And you guys will thank me later. It's pretty cool talent. And I'm just excited that there are different ways that you guys can run this build right here with this without having to run some of the more popular exotics like the regular. So we'll wrap it up here, guys. Hey, appreciate the support, appreciate the love. See you guys in the next one. Hey, nothing but skills out.